Hello and welcome to this class. This week I've been playing around with some texture on an aluminium composite material otherwise known as ACM and it's a brushed silver aluminium and the idea of this piece is to create some texture on the surface but also allow the silver to shine through so that when the light hits it you get this nice metallic sheen. I don't know if you can see that in the video there. And so I've literally just used gel medium and some paint and then attached some acrylic diamonds to give it a little bit extra texture and a little bit more sparkle. So without further ado, let's get into how I created this piece. So the first thing I did was mix my colours in with some gloss gel medium. This gel medium dries clear, so if you want to use inks or a, a transparent medium, when this dries it will show the, the silver through on the ACM panel. But what I'm doing here is I'm mixing a variety of different mediums. So for instance I'm using white acrylic paint, a metallic silver powder pigment from Lares. Now I'll put a link in the description below of where you can purchase these products or something similar. And as you can see, I'm just using the spatula to mix that thoroughly. I'm also using a jade powder pigment, as well as some blue acrylic paint, which I will mix thoroughly in the gel medium. Now note that the gel medium, because it's white, it will make it the colours look lighter when mixing. However, once you once the gel medium's dried, it will come back to full vibrancy in the colour so don't worry too much about that. So once you have your colours it's time to start applying them to your metal panel. Now I will be bringing some other videos showing how you can create something similar with foil as a background because obviously not everybody's going to have access to aluminium panels although you can get them from sign shops and sign suppliers. So check with your local science supplier and you should be able to get some of this material. So I didn't have much of a plan in mind for this piece. The idea is to just let it evolve and so I started out with the blue circle and then adding some of the jade colour I then put them around sort of like in this uh, style of uh, a flower and then I started adding some of the silver and white and then I was just going to let myself be intuitively directed on what I was going to do with this. So once you've laid down your colours just use a palette knife or your fingers or a wooden stick to just pull these colours from the centre outwards. Now be mindful not to overwork it and you don't want to blend these colours too much you still want to be able to see the differentiation between the different colours and then just moving the board I'm just turning it around so it makes it easier for me to just pull them colours towards me rather than trying to work awkwardly around the board so I'm going to do the same with a second flower shape so I'm putting the blue down first and then I'm going to place the colours around the outside and then pull it with the palette knife the same as we've, we've done previously. And then do the same for a third flower. Next we're just going to add some gel medium to the outer edges of each of the, the flower shapes. That way we've still got some texture on top of the brush silver and it doesn't look flat and it looks like you've finished the piece off. Now you can tint this with a little bit of your colour just so that that continues out or you could leave it as just the gel medium bearing in mind that that gel, gel medium will dry clear and then you'll see the aluminium below once that's dried. While the gel medium is still wet, it would be a good idea to start tidying up some of the areas. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the spatula to go over 
the top of the gel medium to have more defined shapes and lines in the the gel medium that way it doesn't look messy so you can see the bottom left hand flower how it, it doesn't have that nice finished look so all I'm doing now is I'm just going to go over the top of the gel medium just to tidy up those texture lines and give it a little bit more definition so as you can see that's starting to create nice texture around the shapes and then I'm just turning the board to help me move in the right direction when pulling the gel medium down to give that nice texture shape and then finally I'm adding some acrylic diamonds to the center of each of these flower shapes and because the gel medium is still wet I'm just positioning them by hand into the center of each of those flowers Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it then please give a thumbs up and better still subscribe to my channel. I have other ideas for foil art and other abstract art so those will be coming very soon. So until next time, bye for now.